How the Meteorite Got to the Museum by Jesse Hartland. Legendary Kids. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for coming back to Legendary Kids. I'm really excited that you're here. And I'm excited to share a new story with you. Can you guess what this story is about? Take a look at the picture. Yes, you got it. It's about meteorites. What else do you see in the picture? I see what looks like a bunch of students looking through a telescope at the meteorite. This story will explain to you what a meteorite is. It will also explain all the different things that had to take place in order for the meteorite to reach the museum. Well, friends, let's jump right into the book and learn something new. Hey parents, is your child enjoying my content? If so, could you hit that subscribe button? I would really appreciate it. Thanks. A meteorite is, simply speaking, a rock that survives a fiery fall from outer space and lands on Earth. This happens thousands of times a year. Meteorites fall all over the place, in the sea, in deserts, on the plain, and in jungles and forests. They don't usually fall into people's yards, but this one did just that. And it happened not far from New York City, in a town called Peskills, New York. But um, how did the meteorite get here to the museum? Great question. Let's find out. Hundreds of millions of miles from Earth, in deep, dark, cold outer space, there are vast fields of space debris flying around. Chunks of ice, pieces of satellites, specks of dust, tiny grains of sand, huge rocks called asteroids, and smaller rocks called meteors. Most of this debris stays up in space. But this is the story of one rock that didn't. Here in outer space is a meteor, likely a broken off piece of an asteroid, flying around and around and around. A year goes by. A million years go by. A billion years go by. Over four billion years go by. And then, on October 9th, 1992, and no one knows why exactly, a rock changes course and... enters Earth's atmosphere over the state of Kentucky. Here is a dog, sleeping on a porch, who is awakened by a loud sound. She barks at the meteorite. as it zoomed towards the Earth. Here are Virginians, enjoying a late night burger, who suddenly see a fiery trail in the sky. Get a load of that! We know it was the meteorite, which was... barked at by the dog as it hurtled towards the Earth. Holy smoke! Here are some sports fans at a Pennsylvania high school football game. The home team is trailing by seven. The running back has got the ball. Third down, four yards to go. Home movie cameras point to the action on the field until... More exciting than a flying football is the meteorite, which was spotted by the Virginians and yelped at by the dog 
as it zipped towards the earth. this rock. Here is the teenager who had been watching late night TV at her house in Peekskill, New York, when she heard a tremendous crash. She has rushed outside and discovered a huge dent in the truck of her car and a smoking rock nearby. Of course, it is really the meteorite, which was... Filmed by sports fans, pointed at by Virginians, and woofed at by the dog as it sped towards the earth. Here are the police who rush to the scene. They poke and prod at the still warm rock and declare criminal mischief for what was really caused by the meteorite, which was discovered by the teenager, recorded by the sports fans, spotted by Virginians, and howled at by the dog, ow, ow, as it bolted towards the earth. Here are the firefighters called to cool the rock which has caused gas eek, to drip from the car's punctured fuel tank. They start to suspect that the rock may really be a meteorite, which was examined by the police, reported by the teenager, videotaped by the sports fans, pointed at by Virginians, and roughed at by the dog as it plunged towards the earth. Your car was in an interstellar collision. What has hit this car is indeed a meteorite. Here is a geologist, a scientist who studies rocks to learn about the history of the earth. He has come to Peekskill, New York from Columbia University to investigate the mysterious rock. He confirms that what smashed the car is indeed a meteorite, which was cooled by firefighters, investigated by police, found by the teenager, gawked at by sports fans, buzzed about by Virginians, and arfed at by a dog as it raced towards the earth. This likely came from an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. The museum would love to add this meteorite to its collection. Here is the curator of meteorites from the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. He is admiring the space rock and hoping to obtain at least a slice of it. The museum would love to add to its collection this meteorite, which was Identified by a geologist, cooled by firefighters, cordoned off by police, called in by a teenager, taped by sports fans, remarked on by Virginians, and arfed at by the dog as it crashed towards the earth. Here we have an H6 monomict Brescia meteorite with a weight of 26 pounds. The luminous flight time exceeded 40 seconds and covered 400 to 500 miles, a speed of better than 10 miles per second. Simply put, it's an old rock from outer space that came here fast. The chance of a meteorite colliding with a car is about one in a billion. Here's a cosmologist a scientist who specializes in outer space, explaining everything you may want to know 
and more at a museum symposium about the meteorite, which was procured by the curator of meteorites, confirmed by the geologist, posed by the firefighters, poked at by the police, called in by the teenager, chronicled by sports fans, whooped at by Virginians, and yipped at by the dog as it fell towards the earth. Here is the exhibits team at the Natural History Museum, designing the lighting, signage, and diorama for their newest acquisition, the soon-to-be-famous meteorite. Explained by the cosmologist, acquired by the curator of meteorites, measured by the geologist, chilled down by firefighters, Protected by police, phoned in by the teenager, captured on video by sports fans, called to by Virginians, and yapped at by the dog as it plummeted towards the earth. Here is the science teacher who guides her students through the Ross Hall of Meteorites. She loves the study of mysteries of outer space and sharing that with her students. Now, surrounded by a crowd of new young fans, is the Peekskill meteorite, which was barked at by the dog, witnessed by Virginians, filmed by sports fans, found by a teenager, poked at by police, sprayed with water by firefighters, validated by the geologist, obtained by the curator of meteorites, summed up by the cosmologist, and presented by the exhibits team, and explained by the science teacher, who says, and that's how the meteorite got to the museum. Thank you so, so much, friends, for joining me today for this really interesting book. I hope you learned something new. I know I sure did. If you enjoyed this story, please hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow I'll be back with another story for you. Have a great weekend, friends. Bye-bye.